Hello and welcome to another presentation of Ingis Education. In this presentation, I'm going to show how you can use Autodesk Inventor software to build any robotic parts without buying the actual hardware. Uh, the point is, you build your hardware uh, from buying the you build your hardware uh, before you buying the uh, real hardware, and you build it in virtual environment. As you can as you can see in my Autodesk Inventor software environment i have built uh, those following parts uh, uh, before i bought my actual hardware so um, in uh, the build list of the autodesk inventor you can see all the part list uh, next part i'm going to show that i'm going to assemble uh, before uh, before uh, deploying to the vira virtual environment uh, locomotion so you can see uh, this is the robot uh, I'm going to assemble now from the Autodesk Inventor and the Inventor parts you can see that this is the car chassis and the car motor the yellow one is the car motor and the battery at the top uh, there are four TT motors these are six volt DC TT motors so I have uh, assembled uh, four of them in virtual environment now i'm going to put uh, four wheel uh, before i uh, and uh, before i'm putting uh, my four screw uh, with the uh, chassis body as you can see the four wheel i'm assembling now uh, to say something that um, uh, this video is intended uh, for the mechanical engineer as well as the electrical engineer as well me myself from the electromechanical uh, robotic engineering background um, so now for this part I have used 12 volt battery uh, to power my robotic car as you can see that I built the battery in um, Autodesk Inventor then I assemble it on top of it and uh, now uh, the the actual car look a little bit different than the um, uh, Autodesk Inventor uh, build vehicle because of the hardware modification later on stages. Nevertheless, all the dimension of the parts uh, remain same. Uh, only the neural computer computing stick, as you, uh, stick, neural computing stick, as you can see, has been implemented on the real uh, hardware. Now I have uh, transported uh, that VRAP, uh, that uh, Autodesk Inventor file in VRAP robotic simulation software. Uh, here you can see my whole robotic car in uh, VRAP virtual arena. And this car will behave in same way as the real life uh, hardware would. It has got four motor uh, in real life hardware. It has got four motor and uh, this VRAP car in virtual environment is, has got the four motor as well. It has got the onboard camera as you can see with the onboard camera it can see in front of it and it can measure the distance of the object, uh, how far the object is from the camera. Then it makes the decision and the, the decision is being made with the onboard Raspberry Pi computer uh, Python program. So for now, as you, as you can see, there is a red blob in front of it and the vehicle is uh, going towards that blob. Um, the way it works is that if the blob is if the blob is on the field of view of the robotic camera, the robot try to put it on the center position of the robotic body and try to follow it, try to go towards it. And if the blob moves right and left, the virtual car motor compensates that. Um, that uh, location change uh, so the body also move right and left as well and um, this car has got onboard camera the what uh, the real life hardware has got onboard camera as dear viewers if you like this video comment if you don't like this video then comment as well and also subscribe to get similar kind of con content um, and